All right, Shalom, Akim, coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shemel Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth, striving for the hopeful lack, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Shemel Shai, Wahabrakak Wadash, Barakatam, Akim. All right, um, as you see here on the screen, I got a, a video um, with some brothers out there in uh, Baltimore. Uh, you know, their YouTube channel, Israelites, the branches, and the title of the video is Karagma, Physical or Spir Spiritual Hebrew Israelites. All right, and if you watch this video, they encounter uh, the individual by the name of Adam Abbott that's been out there preaching, uh, you know, the scriptures. <clears throat> and basically, as of as of new, he's um, saying that the, the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. Okay, and what it what it really is with this individual is he's just he's confused because when you watch this argument, um, and as the title stated, physical or spiritual. Okay, now the word karagma is a physical, um, description of that mark. Okay, which we know as the RFID chip, but before it is even led to, the, before it even gets to that level. Esau knows this, and we know this because we know everything starts in the spirit. We know this. Everything begins in the mind. Esau knows this. Esau knows that. Why else would he put subliminal messages? Why else would he put um, witchcraft out there via what? The television, the music, because he knows everything starts in the mind. He knows what happened in the Garden of Eden with Eve. He knows it. He knows it that much. Okay? So... It's both physical and spiritual, okay? Spiritual and physical. Because when you're spiritually won over, you're going to physically follow after what is being pushed out on the earth by Esau, okay? By your woman, etc. All right? Um, whatever it may be that you um, that wins you over mentally, you're going to follow that, that, that one thing, okay? It, and, and and we all know it goes back to tangible things. So eventually, you will you will receive you will take that chip because he's gonna offer it to you. This is what Esau's gonna do. He's gonna be like, here, take this chip, right? It's gonna begin at the jobs, and the ones that he he because he, he, he has everybody on a database. And if brothers, um, if I'm going off or, or I'm, I'm I'm not um, conveying the message properly, message me, text me, speak with me, whatever. Correct me, I'm here, and I'm 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 not trying to go going against any kind of thing that we've been taught. But there's a lot of confusion, and 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 I'm and I know two thirds are not gonna get this, and I'm not trying to save anybody. But the brothers that are in the know, those are the ones that we are to protect, and to be give a little bit more of a clarification on how, because. As a prophet, you have to see the future, man. You have to see, you have to get into the mindset of individual people and see how they're going to maneuver. That's the the Lord in the scripture. When you, when you read the Bible, the Lord gives us the mindset of the wicked. Okay? He tells us how the wicked think. Okay? So you have to apply that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding out here in, in this world, man. You have to foresee it. And I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I'm not none of that. I'm, I don't ever say that. Okay? But this is just for the brothers that are um, confused or whatever it may be, okay? Um, and it's something that has to be spoken about. You know, brothers have been making videos about it. Brothers have been getting on this individual and, and, and things of that nature. I'm not saying that. But um, after watching this video for myself, which this video was uh, published uh, December 9th, and it's, uh, well, it's December 10th, so this, the brothers probably went out Saturday. They got their videos up on Sunday. All right. So um, real quick, just, just let me bring the scripture out here in Romans 15 and one. It says, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves, because that's what the most high requires of a servant of the Lord is to go out there and do the work, not only for ourselves and not to gain this knowledge for ourselves, but for for the for the uh, for the ones that believe the believers of the same household of faith, building each other up, etc. OK, it says. Let every one of us please his neighbor for good to edification. And that's what we're all about. 
edifying is to build up, building brothers up where? Spiritually, mentally, preparing them for the things that are going to come. Because we know things in the spirit happen first and they manifest themselves in the physical. Okay? It says, For even Yahweh Shamashiach pleased not himself, but as it is written, the, repro re the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, right? That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the now Yahweh, the God of patience and of consolation, grant you to be like minded one toward another according to Yahweh Shamashiach. That you may with one mind and one mouth glorify Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shamashiach. Okay? So the things that were written for time were written for our learning. Okay? Like I said, the Lord had Yahweh has given us the mindset of the wicked. And the wicked, whether they know it or not, they may because we know that the, you know the devil, Esau, or even like a a snake, a serpent, you know. We we know about them. We know their character. We know their their um. We know the the power that a serpent has, but they don't know that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, like I said, Esau may he 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 may think, oh yeah, we we know they know us, right? They, they we we know that uh, they know our mindset, but like it says, and let me bring it out. Okay, this is. Salakia. Give me one second, bro. I'm bringing things from the sword that I have here. This is a uh, second Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, that's what a prophet would be doing. A prophet is one that's foreseen being a watchman, and the elders have done this for us. Okay, and he they, they let us know. What the mark of the beast is, and it's the RFID chip, the radio frequency identification chip, okay, and and that's going to be pushed. That will be mandatory. You will have to take that. That will be part of you having a job. That will be part of whether you have private businesses. All right, if you're on the if you're on the records and 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 the database of you owning any kind of business, you will be forced to take this chip. Okay. You won't be forced. They're going to tell you, here, take this chip. And you have certain times of day to notify us to, to uh, whatever and to activate it. Just like they do. They when Say like if your phone fucks up. You you, you put in a, a request, right? You're damaged. And, those, and they, won't, they won't say shit because you got, you know, you, you pay for your bill. You pay for your phone. You got insurance. So they'll send you, a, they'll send, they'll send you the phone with no, with no doubt. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get theirs. If you don't send that phone back in for the exchange of a new one, you're going to be charged for the remaining balance, whatever it may cost. You will be charged. So they ain't, they're not even tripping, right? So it's the same thing. Okay, Esau is, is, is not going to force you now. But there will come a time where they're going to pursue the ones that are not, had met that, that uh, deadline. Okay? And Esau knows the elect are not going to take this okay but that's where we cannot be ignorant of satan's devices this is a device that he's he has developed and he's going to push out it's been already put on the animals that's the first testing of this rfid chip has been pushed on the animals the, the domesticated animals because they're being lost and stuff like that you know um because of stray dogs stray cats here in my city in San Angelo, Texas, it is it is part of um, the city ordinances, the city laws to have your pet chipped. You know, you can be fined with if they find out you have you've been having a pet and and they don't have that chip, you can be fined up to so so many dollars. I don't know the amount, all right, but it's you're still you're being you're gonna be fined, okay. So that's here in my city, and I know it's in other places. So what I'm trying to say is um, slacky and see. We can't be ignorant of Satan's devices, okay? And and it's not possible for the elect to the the elect to be deceived and bring that one out real quick. <clears throat> Cause everything starts in the spirit. 
right? We have to always remember that. See, like this individual, Adam Abbey, he believes that it's, it's, um, it's spiritual, right? Okay. Uh, before I go say anything, let me let me bring this one out. Matthew twenty four. And uh, twenty four. For there shall arise false Christ and, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive, deceive the very elect. Okay. So we know that Esau is going to use, you know, his philosophy, his doctrines, his 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 um, you know, the LGBT community, you know, loving everybody. He's using all these different avenues to push that vibration of being unified one with one another. And he, he know he's doing that through the spirit mentally. Okay? Through his philosophy, his his doctrines. Look what everybody has a cell phone. Every fucking buddy on the earth has a cell phone, man. Everybody. Okay? There's even kids that have cell phones. This is a device. Th these cell phones, so-called cell phones, are devices. Okay? Everybody has them. Every, the majority of the world have a device. Okay? Now, the brothers, the argument is that if, if, if it was a philosophy, the mark of the beast, we all would be dead, right? Now, the, when you watch this video, they're, they're arguing back and forth. And the, that dude, Adam Abbott, is asking the brother, saying, can you repent from worshiping the beast? Okay? There's scriptures in there in, in the Bible. Let me bring it out. Let me just bring it out. This is a... And you have to understand, there's a balance to everything. Okay? This is uh, Revelations 20 and 4. All right. It says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Mashiach and for the word of the Most High. You know, the ones that had the testimony of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? So that, that that's a, a future prophecy of those at the end of days. And bring us one other, this other one out. This is uh, Revelations 12 and, uh, and, thir and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and had the testimony of Yahweh Shemashiach. And this, this is this, this example of the dragon has happened several times. It, ha it happened with the apostles, okay? When King Herod did it to Yahweh Shai, killed the babies of two years and, and, and under, all right? And then you had Nero, you know, you had all these different uh, uh, Caesars that uh, pursued mainly ne ne Nero, Nero, pursuing the Christian, so-called Christian, the apostles, and, and killing them off, man. Okay, and then you also had it during during the time of Antiochus Epiphanes. So all these things were written for our learning. Okay, why would he do that? Because they didn't follow the, the their their customs and traditions. They followed their customs and traditions, which is what spiritual. Okay, but in our time, it's coming to something that is going to solidify that allegiance, and it's going to be by way of the mark of the beast. Okay. Now, let me come back because I said, you know, the brother, they were arguing about worshiping the beast and if he can repent from that and stuff. It says, Revelations 20 and 4, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shamashiach and for the word of Yahweh and which had not worshiped the beast. See, it says, and which had not worshiped the beast, neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shahamashiach a thousand years okay so to worship the beast is it basically means what is to have full you're fully persuaded in your mind who you serve you're serving the the uh this current world's existence this current this current world system the whether it be 
Christianity, Esau, Esau don't give a fuck. As long as you deny this word, you deny your heritage because every, there's a lot, thousands and thousands of, of, of people are coming to the acknowledgement of them being Hebrew Israelites. So it's going, it's not something Esau knows what's going on. They know it. And, and that's something that's going to be pushed out as far as like, are you the son of the most high? They, they're going to ask us these things. They're going to ask us these things. Just like they did. It, everything was written for our learning, man. Read the accounts of all these in, these kings. But that, in this time, it's going to be solidified by Esau through that chip. Okay? So it is spiritual and physical. But the ones that remain faithful unto Yahweh Shemel who had not uh, worshipped the image of the beast, they're going to be delivered from that. They're not going to accept that. Nor are they going to accept any other teachings and doctrines in this life nor did they receive them nor did they accept them in their prior lives they've always died for the truth they always remain faithful to the truth but all the other Israelites the, the, the two thirds they always bow down to those systems those traditions and customs which we know that it was what through the mind we know it was spiritual, okay? There was a spiritual decision that they made. Are they going to follow their law, statutes, and commandments? Are they going to follow the laws and commandments, statutes of the, those heathens, those idols that they present to them, which they always had an idol? And, and this time, it's, it's not going to be no fucking uh, idol like, uh, you know, that was created by a man's hands and sculpted into a figure of a man's likeness you know where you can see okay that, that that we know that it resembles a man or an angel this this device was handcrafted in the likeness of, of of a man okay which is esau because esau his blessing is a sword okay which we know that he uses technology as a form of a sword man okay he can destroy you with this technology with his, his, his the the uh the weapon the the the, the uh how do you say it he is an advanced um, individual, a ruler, because we know that he he was was his gift was a sword, okay, okay, it, and it started with you know swords that he made and, and you know being you know a master at at that at that craft, but then he 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 developed this craft, okay, so. Um, <coughs> It says that, uh, and not worshipped the beast, okay? Um, before I go any further, like I said, man, it's gonna, uh, <clears throat> it's, it seems like it's probably gonna be a long video, but I'm gonna get out of this, this part right here, this video, and I'm gonna go into the, the blue letter, and I wanna just show something, because brothers have to understand and that's what brothers always making videos saying to be are you fully persuaded in your mind man are you fully aware of the things that are going on have you fully given yourself up to Yahweh by Shem al have you given up the things of the world okay have you detached yourself from the things of the world because Esau knows that things start in the mind too man I'm telling you he knows that everything is spiritual and he has to get you Negro Latinos and Native Ameri American Indians. He has to fuck you up mentally before he can destroy you physically. We're not in the old times where everybody's just killing each other, stabbing each other and all this stuff, trying to get rid of you. He's trying to break you down spiritually. And brothers, we've always spoken about, whether it be through the water, the foods, through, through, through uh, the radiation that the Wi-Fi puts on all these different devices that we have surrounding us every single day, the chemicals that are in the air. He knows these things, man, the, the, the chemtrails. Okay, there's a word in here where it says worshipped. So I'm gonna go on that one. I wanted to show something. All right, you know, brothers can sound out that word if you want to listen to the way it sounds. But I want to go right here to the outline of biblical usage. It says to kiss the hand to towards one in token of reverence. You see that? What does that bring to mind when it says to kiss the hand to? Which is a token of reverence, meaning that they they they're they're offering them, themselves to him. 
they're they're in subjection to 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 him. Okay, so once he knows that, you know that's not gonna be enough. You, you can bow down your knee and, and and physically and and not mean it mentally. Your heart's not there, so he's gonna present that chip. Okay. And 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 but if you're pu- fully persuaded in this system and this life, you love this world, you love this life and everything like that, right? You don't you love the philosophy, the doctrines, the rules, the regulations, the the uh, you know the different um legislations, all the stuff that they push out. You know what I'm saying? Then you're gonna take the chip. You're gonna follow you're just like you get to your your cell phone. You know, you're gonna take it. No questions asked. You know what everybody else is doing, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, it's gonna come a point where we're gonna actually have to say no to to something, man. Okay, so it says uh, to kiss the hand to towards one in token of reverence among the Orientals, especially the Persians, to fall upon the knee and to touch the ground with the forehead as an expression of profound reverence. All right, so let's go over here to uh, the old the Book of Psalms, chapter one. Uh, it's chapter 2 Slaki. This is uh, Psalms 2 and 12 It says Kiss the son Least he be angry And be per- And ye perish From the way When he hath When his wrath Is kindled But a little Blessed are they That put their trust In him That's talking about Yahweh Shai Okay Now you read Revelation 20 When it says Worshipped the beast They and 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 which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they reigned and they lived and reigned with the Alsha Mashiach a thousand years. So you're going to bow down to everything that this system has to offer. Everything Yahweh Shai offers, we have to bow down to it. That's why it says, Are you to be fully persuaded in your mind, man? You know, to believe, to have hope, uh, your, your, our our faith. And hope is the anchoring of our soul, which is ultimately how Bashim was shy. Okay. Um, let me read it again, Psalms two and twelve. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and and ye perish from the way. Now let me go in there. Look at that word, kish is kiss in the sock. All right, it says, it says to uh, put together kiss, to touch gently, to handle, be equipped with, to be equipped. All right, to kiss literally or figuratively touch. Also, as a mode of attachment to equip with weapons, arm men, rule, kiss, that touch. Okay, so you're basically just giving over. You're letting them know you're down with it. All right. It says um, at the root word etymology, identical. Uh, identical it says that through the idea of fastening up, you know, you're down with them. You know, you're, as, you're, you're one with them. Okay, so let me go back. You know, look at that word trust. All right, it says an outline of biblical use is to seek refuge, flee for, for protection, to put trust in God, confide or hope in God figuratively. All right, okay, <coughs> so we know um, that we had to seek, you know, uh, protection from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, through the word, through prayer, you know, obeying the law, statutes, commandments. Okay, with well, Esau, it's not that it's not that simple. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna, like I said, everything starts spiritually, okay? And you will have to take that chip eventually because you just saying and you doing all these gestures doesn't mean you're gonna have to do some serious, you're gonna have to blaspheme the name of the most, most high. You got to blaspheme every single name that's out there, okay? He knows all the names, all right? You're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, shit like that's gonna really go down, man, you know? And he's gonna be like, okay, here, take, inject yourself with that chip, or they're gonna have you get somebody else inject you with it, whatever. Okay. So, to worship is to basically, you know, uh, like I said. Let's see, let me go back to Revelations twenty. Okay. Like I said, I know the brothers, they, they go over this all the time. And brothers, you know, go straight to the point. But, you know, I, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al I was, you know, going, think, just thinking about scriptures and, and not trying to go another way. But, you know, just going, just showing brothers and being, you know, uh, mindful 
of what of how things begin. All right, this is the word worship. It says to kiss the hand to towards one in token of reverence. Okay. So you're you're showing that that uh you know that you're down for it, man. You know what I'm saying? But the um the elect are not going to do these things. They're not going to be be pretending. They're not going to do none of that shit. Okay? They're not going to put up no act. They're going to be 100% firm in what they believe in. Okay? So w to worship the beast is is basically you you're um willingly accepting this this way of life. Okay? Working in in Esau's kingdom and you know, before we even came into the truth, we're believed, you know, brothers thought Christmas was okay or Easter, all these different traditions or they believed in, in the virgin birth or they believed in, you know, uh, Jesus may have been white, whatever. That's that's not that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about when you worshiping the beast is that you're fully persuaded in these things. There's no turning back from that shit. OK, you're 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 persuaded in it. OK, you're fully persuaded in worshiping the beast. OK, now the proof on that is over here in the book of Romans. Uh, was it 11? I start at verse one. It says, I say, then hath Yahweh cast away his people. God forbid, Yahweh forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Yahweh had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not what the scripture saith of Elias? Believe ye not. That's what the word what, what, or W-O-T. It, it means to believe ye not what the scripture saith of Elias. How he maketh intercession to Yahweh against Israel, saying, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. And I am left alone, and they seek my life. Because why did they seek? Why were they seeking Elijah's life? Because he was, he was fixed in the faith. He was an, he was adamant. And they knew it. They felt it. They could not. They when they looked at Elijah, they knew that he was different. You know what I'm saying? They knew that he was not going to bow down to us, or not to us, like it. He knew that he was not going to bow down to them. Okay, you can look at somebody and you can know that that person. Is is dead, you know. He's dead and 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 set in, in what he believes in, man. He's he 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 he's set in that. You can you can look at someone and be like, man, he's serious, man. You better leave him alone. He, he's he's telling you what he what, what he's gonna do. You can see it, you know. And you see some people that are like ah, this, this dude, he's he's full of shit. All I gotta do is certain this and watch, I get him following me. You know, that's how Esau Esau does the same shit. He knows the ones that are gonna fall. He knows the ones that are uh, that are, that can be easily taken now. He's a he's a lion. He's likened as a lion. He's likened as a snake, a serpent. The, the, a snake and a serpent. They they know. They seek out the weak. They seek out the ones that ain't paying attention. They ain't gonna put themselves in danger. They ain't gonna put themselves in harm. They're gonna get the ones that they know, and they're gonna worry about the stronger ones later because the want the ones that are strong. They're gonna present to them death, man. Like I read in Revelation 20, it says, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shammashah, the testament of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? It says in, in Romans 11 and 4, but what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? See, now Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is answering Elijah, saying, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who had not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. That remnant is not going to bow down, and nor worship the image of the beast, nor worship um, the mark, all right, or his image, man. Which is going to lead to that, that mark. That mark being that ultimate allegiance, showing the ultimate allegiance that you're down with that beast. The elect can't worship the beast. They cannot worship the beast and then and and, and and not receive it. Because to to worship is reverence. 
us brothers being on the highways and the byways, we don't show reverence to America. Okay? We do not show reverence to America. So it's spiritually, it starts spiritually and then it's ultimately going to manifest itself to the physical, which is the RFID chip. Adam Abbott, you're, 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 you're missing that aspect because Esau, he's carnal, he's physical, but he knows that spiritually he has to get you in order for you to take this mark, which is the karagma, which is to be pierced, to be cut. He knows this. Okay? Certain brothers, you know, and I know what it's like being on the battlefield. Sometimes, you, you're, you're, especially when you're being hit with certain questions, you know, coming with different angles of questions, and it kind of throws you off. But yeah, that's why you have to have brothers, you know, uh, you have to be on, you know, you have to pay attention, you know, and, and remember and, and, you know, stuff like that. And Because, you know, the, the devil's out there seeking who he may devour, man, you know. And, uh, but it says, I'm going to read that again in Romans 11 and 4. But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. So this actually happened in the time of, in the time of Elijah. Because Elijah thought he was alone, man. But right? But he wasn't. He, there was other men that Yahweh Shemel Shai had there that, that did not believe in that, in that system. Did not believe in that kingdom, in that rulership of that time. Okay, though Elijah didn't see them, he didn't wasn't around them, you know, but the Most High was telling him, okay, just like we know today. It's like we know today that brothers, there's serious brothers out there, they're not fucking playing around. We, you know, they're not playing around. They're serious, they're dead serious about this thing. And only time is going to tell to prove and to, for us to show to Yahweh Hashem al Shai that we love him, we kiss his hand. That's who we bow down to. We're not bowing down to this current system. Which is ultimately going to lead to you taking that chip. If you bow down to the system, you're persuaded, you're not fully persuaded, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, rooted and built in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you will take the chip. Because that's part of his philosophy. That's part of Esau's doctrine. Let's see here. All right, uh, brothers, bear with me. Let's find this one in uh, Colossians. Okay. So, that's what it's going to lead to, man. Esau knows if he gets you in the spirit, all right, he's going to get you to do whatever he wants you to do in the physical. Okay. Uh This is Colossians 2 and 6. As you have therefore received Yahweh Mashiach. The Lord, so walk ye in Him. Okay, and how do we walk with Him? In the Spirit. Okay, just like you got these two-thirds, they're walking with Satan in the Spirit. You know? And they're, 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 they're willing to take whatever it is. Look at all these people taking, getting tattoos, piercings. You know? That's just, that's just the, uh, the, 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 uh, the surface of what that's leading these people to take, to, to take in the RFID chip. All these cell phones, all these the different devices that they have, like computers, watches, is leading to that ultimate one thing that Esau is preparing to pull out. Okay? It says, rooted and built up in him. So we have to be rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. We have to be thankful. We have to be joyful in this this wisdom knowledge and understanding y'all watch me i was giving you if not you're going to take that chip man okay beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after traditions of men after the rudiments of the world and not after yahweh mashiach for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the godhead bodily and you are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power okay so it says, beware of, of at least any man should spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Now, this is a, a philosophy and a vain deceit of Esau. It's that RFID chip. And you got certain guys out there that are false prophets that are telling you that it's, it's, it's spiritual. You cannot buy or sell spiritually. Okay? Not in Esau's kingdom. Okay? You... 
the only way this is I feel like this is the confusion that if if it's spiritual and you buy and sell it's because Esau knows you're wholeheartedly committed unto him and you've proven yourself to be wholeheartedly committed to him that he's like okay not, yeah you're you're good you can buy and sell whatever you want but he's not he, Esau's not stupid he's going to be like take this chip this is going to be that's going that's the chip is what's going to solidify me believing that you are you you're real about uh what you're saying or what you're believing okay which leads to it being physical <laughs> and then the technology itself is spiritual okay they have the nfc which is that the near field uh, uh what is it uh they have it on the phones uh the uh near field near, near field communication where you can activate it and you can transfer information you know you, you, you have the ability to do these things you know just like every phone all every almost everything you can buy different um accessories for the phone to to do business to do make certain things happen you know he's, you, you we don't know we just know we don't know how everything's going to play out you know just like you know when when people are already buying shit just with you know fingerprints or or, or they're putting up that RFID chip to the uh you know the vending machines whatever that is 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 a form of an accessory on how to to uh make those those purchases those transactions okay just because you have the chip doesn't mean that oh you're gonna tell it in your mind that chip that you're gonna pass some funds to this person with another chip you know it's gonna be you you, you might have you're gonna have that accessory we don't know we don't know everything we know in part but we know enough that the rfid chips the the, the size of the rice grain is is going to be that ultimate um allegiance to his, to esau okay so it says, uh, beware lest any man spoil you, spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Yahweh Shemashiach. Okay. Because to, to, um, to, uh, buy and sell through the spirit of Yahweh Shem is, is what? It's to present your body, living sacrifice, studying, uh, giving, uh, 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 glorification unto Yahweh Shem Shai. You know? And that's because Yahweh Shai knows our hearts. Esau doesn't know our heart. You know? So he's going to use that chip to solidify that. You know? It's like he has contracts where you, 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 you sign it and all that. That's him you him believing that you're going to pay. You're going to fulfill that, that, uh, that document. All right? That contract. Do that signature. Right? How about Shemal Shai don't require none of that shit? Why? Because he knows our hearts. He knows what's inside, man. He already knows what what, what, what we're gonna do. Esau don't have that ability, but he has a, a, at least a little bit to where he knows he can use the, the te television. He uses philosophies, the doctrines to to veer you to these different paths, and he more or less knows where you're gonna head, where you're going, you know. But just to say, well, well, I'm down with the with with the America, whatever, like that. He's gonna be like, okay, cool. That's that's just your word. But here, take this, get this shit injected into yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it all starts spiritually, and it's gonna manifest itself to the physical. We all, we us brothers, we always talk about that. And I want to bring out this account, Maccabees chapter one, verse forty one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom, and all should be one people. You see. So Antiochus, when he went into Jerusalem, took over, he uh, made a decree that all should be one people. Is That's the new world order. One world government, one world currency, one world religion, one world speech. Everything was written for our learning. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Okay, so all the other nations are going to agree with this new world order, with this uh, proclamation, with this decree, with this new law of the land. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbaths. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. 
and forbid burnt offerings, sacrifice, and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbath and the festival days, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said, he should die. Okay? Now, this was thousands of years ago. Okay? So, Esau knows, this still applies to our time. Esau knows when you two, you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians are acting like niggas, you're into gangs, drugs, and killing one another, you know, black on black crime, y'all are um, doing all types of grimy shit to each other. He knows, he got y'all exactly where y'all want it. He wants y'all. All right, you're distracted. You ain't in the word. You ain't following after your power. So he's he's good. He's like, man, let them let them let them keep doing what they're doing. They're saying that ain't no different from the time of Antiochus Epiphanes. That was a decree. Okay, that was a decree made thousands of years ago, going all the way to the time of the serpent with Eve and Adam. And it's always led through through the centuries to distract you, to, to take you away from your power, man. All right. At least you should die if you if if you don't uh, obey that king's commandment. Antiochus the Epiphanes command, you're gonna die, right? It's just like in our time, it, it's gonna be the same thing all over again. Okay. Except he's he's gonna pre present that RFID chip as it being the ultimate uh, way of 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 justifying his cause amongst the people, because it says that he's deceiving small and great, rich and poor. So the small and great are gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, he, he he's he's good, you know, it, it's, this is a good idea, you know, but it, we we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know what it's really born down to. It's born down to because we know that, that the devil uh, is, it has come down with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. The rest of the people don't know that shit, you know. And keep reading First Maccabees, um, one. And 51, in the self-same manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people, commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. Then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit, everyone that forsook the law. And so they committed evils in the land and drove the Israelites into secret places, even wheresoever they could flee uh, for succor, which is uh, for um, for help or comfort. Right, so the Israelites that didn't agree with the shit that was going on in their land, along with those other Israelites that had um, followed after the heathen, they 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 left. They hid in secret. Verse fifty four. Now the fifteenth day of the month, Cal Calsalu, and the hundred forty and fifth year, they set up the abomination of desolation. Their god, which if I'm not mistaken is uh, Zeus. All right, um, upon the altar. And build it idol altars throughout the cities of Judah on every side, and burnt incense at the doors of their houses and 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 in the streets. And they're already doing that, you know. Look at look everywhere you look, you're seeing all types of free uh mason uh Freemason you know imagery, you know pentagrams, uh um you're seeing Baphomet everywhere, statues of Baphomet being put up, you know all type forms of satanic. You know images. You know the the uh, their slogans, their their all their subliminal messages. Everything is is satanic, and 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 of uh, all these groves, all these churches, all these harlot houses. That's part of his 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 system. You know, there's nothing new under the sun, man. You know, what I'm saying it's happening. Everything's ready for our learning. Verse fifty six, First Maccabees uh, one and fifty six. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, which they found, they burnt them with fire. And this has happened several times. I, I remember back in, uh, I think it was like in 2000, uh, 2008, 2007, 2008, I was at work and I was watching the, the news. And it said the U.S. Army um, was burning Bibles over there in the Middle East. 
you know, that they were burning Bibles, man. That they were caught burning Bibles. All right. So, like I said, there's nothing new underneath the sun. And when they had written pieces, the books of the law, which they found, they burnt them with fire. And it's going to happen again. And it's happening. And wheresoever was found, and wheresoever was found with any the book of the testament, or if any consented to the law, the king's commandment was that they should be put to death, or put him to death. You see? So Esau is going to question us. He's, we're going to be delivered unto governors. We're going to be delivered unto the, the rulers of the land. And they're going to ask us these questions. All right? It's just like, brothers, we made videos many times. Are you prepared? Are you preparing? Are you, are you, have you count the cost? Are you prepared, you know, for the things that are going to come with this? Are you going to, what are you going to say? You know, how, how, are, are you going to uh, depend solely on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Are you going to deny him? Are you going to confess him? You know, this is going to happen. All right. And that's how he's going to more or less narrow you down that he ain't going to take the chip. They're gonna, they may still ask you, hey, you still got a chance to take the chip, you know. It's like I was watching that uh that Tales from the Hood part two on Netflix and the last episode is with Emmett Till, you know, and they show the Edomite that was uh had apprehended him and took him into a barn and uh tied him up against a, a post and was he, he, you know beating him up, right? But he told him bef right before I guess, you know, in the movie it was shown right before he, it really went down to where he killed him. He said all you have to do is is uh basically apologize or something like that of that nature and um uh he was giving them a chance to stay alive right but Emmett Till was like no you know I you know basically he was like I didn't do anything wrong da 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 he, in his mind he was right and that he wasn't going to bow down to this the Edomite he wasn't going to bow down to the so-called white man he'd rather die than to um than to accept that so you know in, in the show in the tales of the hood the last episode with regarding Emmett Till that's what happened that's what they showed he put him to death because he did not take that agreement he didn't agree with that okay even though he had the chance to live he still had rather died so that's just a little little example all right it says verse 58 1 Maccabees 1 and 58 thus did they by their their authority unto the Israelites every month to as many as were found in the cities now the five and twentieth day of the month they did sacrifice upon the idol altar which was upon the altar of God at which time according to the commandment they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised and they hanged the infants about their necks and rifled their houses and slew them that had circumcised them Howbeit many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing, you see? So Yahweh Shah has reserved seven thousand men who have not bowed to the image of Baal from the beginning till now. They're not going to bow down to that image and won't we'll worship the beast, his his image or the mark. Okay? Which is gonna lead to worshiping, to reverencing. The, the 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 beast the system the image which is 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 you know his system man his 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 way of life the western mind way of thinking man up to the point of the mark you taking the chip it says so verse first maccabees 1 and 62 how be it many in israel were fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing Wherefore they chose rather to die, you see, that they might not be defiled with meats, and that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died, and there was very great wrath upon Israel. Come over here, Second Ezra, sixteen, and uh. 68 for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you 
being idle with things offered unto idols. Okay, which in our time is going to be that chip. The RFID chip, man. It's going to solidify that allegiance, that reverence, that worship to Esau. To Satanism. Which is self-worship. To self-glorification. You know, denouncing, you know, all gods but Esau and his technology. You know. It says in verse 69, and they that consented, and they that consent unto them fell, Salakia, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. See, so you're going to die if you consent unto them. So just like we read the account of the Maccabeans, they, they, they were uh, 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 resolved, you know, resolved and committed in themselves not to uh, uh, take part with them. But they had rather die. Cause versus taking a chip, which you're gonna you're gonna receive a horrific punishment. Which um let's go to Revelations nineteen and twenty says And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he Deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. See, you're going to be deceived. It's like I read in Matthew 24. There's going to be many false Christ, false uh, 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 teachers and preachers and stuff like that, right? Therefore, we're able to, to deceive the very elect. If they were able to deceive the very elect, if it were possible, you see? But the ones that are going to be deceived are the ones that had already of old time consented unto them, have consented to bowing down to the image of Baal, as Asareth, you know, um, Molech, because we're all coming back in our own lot, in the same lots, man. Our own, you know, growing up in Esau's kingdom as a as a Gentile and, and, and doing things ignorantly, that's not worshiping the the image. That's not worshiping the beast. Okay, when you you know right from wrong, you know that it's wrong to uh, reverence this place. Because it's one thing worshiping and 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 just you know you have to, um, you have to you have to have an ID. If not, you're gonna bring more fucking judgment to yourself. You're gonna get keep getting caught. You're gonna get put in jail. You're gonna have fines. You have all this stuff. You gotta have a job. You gotta have a social security card. You gotta have all those things. Okay. But Yahweh Bashem Shai told us that the elect would not be deceived. Which means what? That there is going to be prophets, men of the Lord in the, in the last days that are going to tell us what the secrets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is. And we, it's already been told to us. It's the RFID chip. So we can't say, well, how do we... You wouldn't... You would have... If it would have been the social security card, we all would have been fucked. No. Because Yahweh Shai said there was going to be prophets in the end of days that are going to guide us. Okay? That he shall send... Uh, according to Jeremiah chapter 3, he said... I shall send you uh, prophets according to my heart that shall feed you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay. So um, read Revelations 19 and 20 again. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles uh, before him, which with which he deceived them, that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive <coughs> into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that slat up, sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled, you know, with their flesh. So that's that's the difference, man. You know, you cannot... um uh, you cannot worship the image of the beast. The elect will not worship, worship, worship the image of the beast. Neither. Okay. Um, let's go over here to in the same book, Revelations chapter fourteen. Um, and I want to start at verse. Uh, with one hundred forty-four thousand, it says, uh, Revelations fourteen and four. These are these. These are they which were not defiled with the, with women, for they are virgins. 
These are they which follow follow the 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 lamb. Whithersoever he goeth, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh Shai, the Lamb, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Shai. You see that, man? So let's go here. Uh, Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they shall have no rest nor day nor night. Who worship the beast and his image. And whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the faith. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahusha. Okay. So you cannot you cannot worship the beast in his image and not and, and, and not be able to receive the mark. If you worship the beast in his image, you will you will take that mark. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It it, it 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 goes hand in hand. You follow the spirit. It it starts in the spirit and it and it manifests to the physical. We we all know that. You should know that. Okay. So this dude Adam Abbott saying he the, the, the it was the question was asked, are you gonna take the chip? He said no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like But yeah, you're not you're telling people <clears throat> that it's not the mark of the beast. So what is the mark of the beast? And his answer is, it's spiritual. All right. Uh, who is it? Uh, uh, I think it's a IUIC that says Christianity, you know, which is basically the same thing he's saying. So he, he's saying it's the images, the system, the, the philosophies, the doctrines. Okay. Which is not, you know, it's, it's. It is spiritual at to a certain extent, but at the end result, it's gonna manifest itself in the physical, and it's going to be solidified through that that mark you taking it, man. It's to prove your allegiance. All right, when it comes down to this last um, prophecy regarding uh, Esau and Yahweh um, Shimel Shai Jacob. All right, so. Um, I guess that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? You can read chapter 13 right above Revelation chapter 14. How he's going to deceive all them. Um, you know, basically saying the same things that I've been reading. You know, and, you know, it's it's just what it boils down to, man, is just having faith and hoping. You know, not all men have faith. You know, not, men, not all men have the understanding of how things are going to have they play out. You know what I'm saying? Esau's been for for centuries playing on the minds of the people through um his philosophies, his doctrines, and and it's 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 followed through the centuries, through through our children, through you know, and and Yahweh Bashmiya was shy has has always had a certain spirit on 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 the elect that even before coming into the truth, they that they weren't bowing down to the system, man. Okay. Um, they in Esau's terms, they would he would call no call them as a, um. Uh, resistant, or uh, insubordinate. You know, like I said, you know, I don't uh, I forget the, the number. I think it's like five. HR five nine nine something like that, but it's a, it's a, you know, it's a piece of legislation that Esau is it has prepared, which he's he's deemed people that have um, anger issues, and that is a form of having mental issue, and those are those ones that have that, that, that are um, you know that are resistant to law enforcement, to authority and stuff like that, they're they're going to be chipped. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, um Esau 
that's how he he's looking at things, man. You know, and he's gonna present it ultimately with that chip to be the ultimate servitude to him and his system and everything else that falls with Esau. Okay, but like I said, it's it's through, it's through faith, and you know, it's not all men are not all men have faith, man. Not all, not all men are gonna believe. You just push the word and, 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 and the elect are going to follow, man. You know, you just got to have, be, have, you know, be Lord willing that we are those men that Yahweh Bashem set up. The, the, the 144,000 that follow the land where they serve you go with, man. So I read up here, you know, they were, they were redeemed of men. They were redeemed from the earth. They were, uh, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits of Yahweh into the land. And in their mouth was found no guile, man. You know, so I just wanted to bring this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Just Lord willing to, you know, be edifying for some of you brothers out there. But like I said, to certain brothers, man, if you have a misunderstanding of what I'm trying to get at or, you know, you I f you feel like I didn't say something properly, you know, just let me know. Contact me and, you know, correct me or, you know, ask me questions, whatever it is. But. We all know that everything starts to the spirit and it's going to manifest itself uh, to the physical, which basically the RFID chip is going to be played out. So there was this to me when I was watching them and hearing them, you know, I never paid attention to those dudes, the Adam Abbott, whatever, you know, whatever the hell they call themselves. But to me, it just seems like there's a bunch of confusion and a lot of uh, Misunderstanding of the scriptures, you know, which we know the scriptures are hard to be understood, but you cannot let your ego or your pride get in the way because it's not going to allow you to see the things that were written for our learning, man. You know, <laughs> it, it's it's just you can't have come in this thing with a bad attitude and, and, and having these beefs and these, these, these quarrels or these these things that you may see with certain people or certain brothers or leaders or elders, whatever you want to call it, people, you can't have that, you know, for a long time when I was in this, you know, when I first came into this truth and the brother that was with me, we never got involved with, you know, uh, camp beefs and stuff like that. We we watched and we learned from it and stuff like that. And But we for a long time, we would always stay out of it. We never, I would never comment. I would never say anything. I was just doing the work, you know what I'm saying? Reading and studying, doing the work, seeing everything, watching everybody, and just applying all that stuff into my life and then, and then you know, growing there, you know what I'm saying? And just hoping that Yahweh Bashim al Shai is with me and stuff like that and, and, and seeking out my own salvation with fear and trembling, man. And you come in here and this thing and you're already having these, you know, a certain attitude and stuff like that and acting like you're a know-it-all and, and, and you know that the Lord is dealing with you. You know, you're you're not having that fear and trembling heart. You know, you're you're being proud. You're being overconfident. 